Thank you for watching this video from Kingsway Soft. Today, we'll be showcasing the newest feature in our CDS CRM destination component, Process Optimization, which can be found in our SSIS Integration Toolkit for Microsoft Dynamics 365. Process Optimization is designed to turn off any server-side logic or processes, such as workflows or plugins, that could impact your writing performance. This is a long-awaited feature and will have significant performance gains when writing data to your particular entity in your CDS or CRM environment. The feature includes three options, which will tentatively disable relevant plugins, tentatively disable relevant workflows, and tentatively disable relevant entity auditing. Once the writing process is complete, the component will re-enable the disabled processes. There are several caveats to watch out for when using this new feature, and they are brought on by the general constraints of the platform. Therefore, we recommend using the new process optimization features only when necessary. 1. When any of the process optimization options are enabled, software will make relevant changes to the system during the pre-execution by disabling certain plugins, workflows, and entity auditing temporarily as necessary. However, the changes do not only apply to the ETL process that is running, but all system processes including any user interactive operations. For instance, if the Tentatively Disable Relevant Plugins option is enabled, all server-side logic implemented in your plugin code will be skipped or ignored, even for user interactive operations. That is why it is important to coordinate the use of the feature with other processes and concurrent user access in your organization. 2. After the execution of the ETL process, the software will revert the tentative changes to the original state before execution. The process optimization feature is designed to work as reliably as possible if there are no issues with the CDS CRM server during execution. Should there be an issue with the server during or after the ETL process, your system could end up in a state with those options permanently disabled. This can also occur when the ETL is abruptly stopped, whether intentional or not. Therefore, do not stop an ETL process mid-operation if you are using components that have the process optimization feature activated. If this does occur, you will need to use the information log during the pre-execution stage to recover the system's original state. 3. You should not be concerned about the general logic or data errors that may occur during the ETL process. It will not affect the job's post-execution as long as the server is still running and there are no network issues. 4. When tentatively disabling plugins, all plugin steps related to the entity are disabled, regardless of the action registered. Additionally, plugin steps registered without a target entity specified will be ignored. Those plugin steps will remain in effect even with the feature enabled. 5. The process optimization options apply to the primary entity only. They will not apply to cascade writing operations if there are any. For instance, if the destination component is updating an account entity, the system will trigger a number of cascading operations, including those activity entities. Plugins and workflows registered to those activity entities related to the cascading operations will remain intact during the ETL process. And finally, 6. Tentatively disabling entity auditing involves a step of publishing entity changes in order for it to work properly. As a result, any pending entity customizations in draft status before the job execution will be published during the process, and thus such changes will become permanent after the process. With that now cleared, let's take a look at how to use the new process optimization features. Here's our sample data flow, where we're reading data from one CDS CRM instance and writing it to another. In this case, we are creating contact records. With the process optimization features, you can choose the specific options you would like to enable. In our case, we want to disable plugins and disable auditing, as we will be creating a lot of records. We are going to leave workflows unchecked, as we do not require them to be tentatively disabled. When we run our package, we can read the SSIS execution report and see that in the pre-execution phase, all the plugins and auditing are disabled. Once the component has finished writing the data to our instance, the SSIS execution report will mention the plugins and auditing have been re-enabled. If you're pushing a lot of records, this will have a significant impact in improving your overall writing performance. This has been a quick demonstration of our new feature, Process Optimization, in the CDS CRM destination component for our SSIS integration toolkit for Microsoft Dynamics 365. Thank you for watching this video. For any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to us.